What's up everybody, this is Reese from C Manga and welcome to my review of Fairy Tale Chapter 463 Black Carpet. Now this feels like a war. Last week I was too busy to review, but boy, that was a nice little setup there with all the guilds joining up joining together to take on all the different fronts. The most interesting one I must admit has to be, I think it was the Western Front, um, where you got the strongest mages, and I have a feeling they're gonna be taking on God Serena. It kind of just feels that way, it's like you know, the way they hyped him up, it sounds like he has enough power to fight all of them together, so that's going to be a really interesting fight right there. But this chapter, now Natsu is ready to take on Zerif, and I have a feeling this will finally lead into the whole end reveal. But damn, Natsu, he is a powerful wizard, I must admit. You know, the way he takes out cannon fodder like they're nothing. He took out like what, 973 soldiers I think it was? That's a pretty amazing number, you know. Uh, first of his whole little flying through, I'm happy with a dragon claw attack, then going to some hand to hand combat. And then coming out with that final dragon, also the final attack, which was the Dragon King Roar. And oh my god, that was so, so powerful. It kind of makes me wonder whether he changed the name just because, like, you know, now Igneal's dead. He technically is new Fire Dragon King, so yeah, you know, it kind of gives him the right to change the name to that, you know, so he can actually finally use it. Or, you know, his training was enough that he could say, yeah, this is now super powerful. It's kind of like on par with Igneal. Something like that. But yeah, all that commotion that he did um, was enough to draw out Zerif, which was obviously, you know, his plan from the beginning. So, I have a few predictions with this fight. Um, Natsu is obviously about to reveal his new, his, you know, technique. Um, but unwrap the thing that's under his arm, he's there unraveling it. Um, I really, really am hoping and kind of got the feeling that it's kind of showing off the fact that his body's starting to demonify, if that makes sense. You know, he's slowly tapping more and more into his demon powers, which... It kind of makes sense now that all them power boosts that Nuts has been getting over the years is kind of just like, you know, his little taps into his demon heritage. It kind of makes a lot more sense than the whole, oh, because my friends need me, this gives me this power boost, you know, all that power friendship crap. It kind of makes a hell of a lot more sense than that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I get the feeling that obviously he's going to unleash this attack on Xerif, um, which I don't think is really going to do anything to him um, it may shock him a little bit but I don't really think it's going to be the final end or be all to beat De to beat Zerif. Um either that or Zerif is probably going to like go oh I know this attack yeah and then like bust something out which is exactly the same something like that something along those lines um, this kind of will bring into the whole thing of Natsu being like oh don't you us it being Zerif being like oh Natsu don't you remember I taught you that technique when you were young or something like that maybe Natsu tapped into some sort of memory of that um, but yeah, all this kind of leading into the whole I am your big brother type thing. Um, then Zerif obviously, obviously like pulling out the book of N, Nuts be like, what the hell? And then him putting N's spirit into Nuts's body back where it belongs. And then obviously Nuts who joining up with Zerif to be on the soul of fairy tale. Yeah, so much that could happen. And I'm hoping that is the way it goes. Um, plus, there's a little bit of hard evidence that the whole that Nutsu is definitely going to get taken over by N at some point. Um, it's just the way kind of Grey was reacting to everything, you know, it's like, oh, Natsu, but he's got the Book of End, this is supposed to be my job to take out End and everything. It kind of leads me to believe that that um, Grey is going to end up fighting Natsu at some point. I mean, there's always been that kind of, like, tension, rivalry between those two. Obviously, they don't know the whole fire and ice thing, but the whole fact that Grey has his unfinished business with End, um, yeah, it just kind of shows that this fight is going to be inevitable. So I can kind of see Grey unleashing his Demon Slayer magic um, to try and destroy the End Spirit and bring Natsu back. You know, that's obviously what's going to happen in the end, he's going to bring Natsu back. But there's going to be the obvious tearjerker moments there where everyone's thinking that Grey's gone crazy or, you know, Natsu's dead. Something along those lines there, you know, where everyone's going to be like all crying. You maybe got Lucy there like on her knees crying to the floor like, oh my gosh, how could this happen? How could this happen? And Natsu just comes out of, no comes out of the smoke or comes out of nowhere. Something stupid like that. But all in all... I was really happy with this chapter, you know, it does really lead well into future events and like I just said, it kind of got my mind flowing what is to come and what could possibly happen. So yeah, um, really good chapter this week, cannot wait for next week to see like what the attack is that Nuts is going to bring out and see whether my predictions are actually going to come true for once. So yeah, um, that about wraps it up for me guys, you know the usual thing to the end of these, let me know what you thought about this chapter in the comment section below, what are your predictions for this fight, do you agree with me, the whole um, Natsu are going to become end and then taking on grades for that little title of who's going to win, you know, all that stuff, let me know in the comment section below and as usual don't forget to check out things to do on the channel, so I'll see you next time.